Ooh, Prego's looking extra thick all of a sudden. And I think she literally just pooped out a baby. There was uh, there was a poop noise and everything, and now we have three. Okay then. What's up, guys, and welcome to Insane Aquaria, uh, a game that I haven't played in the better part of 15 years, I want to say. Like, this is something I randomly stumbled across today and thought, I have to share this with people. Now, this is a game that people were playing online back when the internet was barely a thing. Now, if you are one of these people that have never heard of this game before, it, it's pretty simple, as you might imagine. We're going to get a fish tank, and we're going to fill it with some of the strangest, dumbest, most difficult to keep alive creatures that you can imagine. Some of them fish, some of them not. Then we're gonna get attacked by aliens because it's the early 2000s. Why wouldn't our little fish tank get attacked by aliens? And the goal is to unlock a whole bunch of funny and charming little creatures that we can then add to the tank. It's like I said, it's been a while. I can't promise that I'm gonna be a responsible fish parent here today, but we'll learn together, okay? We're a team. And I know for a fact that when they're green, they're hungry, so we need to feed them. And the fish food costs money, so it's a difficult little balancing act where you don't wanna feed them too much or else you're losing money, but you definitely wanna feed them enough to keep them alive and hopefully they'll eventually crap out money. Which is a pretty good deal when you think about it. I, I don't know why video game fish are so much better than real life fish. I feed my fish all the time and all they do is crap out crap. They also grow bigger and we can buy more fish. Oh, 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 and I forgot, I can only drop one piece of food at a time, so I gotta be really careful and only feed the ones that are hungry. If it just sinks to the bottom of the tank, we're screwed here. I'm not gonna name them. It probably would help with keeping track, but at the same time, I don't wanna get too attached. So we'll just keep up our little balancing act, juggling back and forth. This is what video games used to be, okay? And this was awesome. This was like right up there with Mario, probably not. But for a lot of people it was, you know, it was online, it was free. If your parents had internet, then you could just play this whenever you wanted to. Do I need more fish? I don't know what my objective is right now. Usually it's to unlock a new character, but I'm guessing where this is the first level, they just wanna make sure I can responsibly feed everybody and collect the poop, that's the other thing. There it is. If the food just uh, doesn't get eaten, or, or if the coins go to the bottom of the tank and nothing happens, then they just disappear over time. Everybody good, everybody fed, getting lots of money. We will buy a piece of egg. We need to get uh, one more piece of egg. And then I'm guessing we need to hatch the egg. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, guys, I'm working on it. <laughs> just come eat your food. No, 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 we can't have the big one die. The big one drops gold coins, which are worth more than the silver coins, I believe. And it just keeps getting more and more crazy. You can get to the point where they're dropping diamonds and pearls, maybe. I would say that doesn't really make sense and that should probably come from a clam, but at the same time, fish don't usually pass coins. Oh, I got a crap load of money. There we go. You found an egg and we hatched Stinky the Snail. Stinky roams around the bottom of your tank, catching any coins you may have missed. So like I said, sometimes they're fish, sometimes they're not, but the idea is you unlock all of these notable characters and then you can bring them to your tank and help you manage all these money-making fish to get more of them and eventually finish the game. So now we're just gonna bring Stinky to the tank and do this all over again. Danger. Not gonna lie, guys, this music isn't really making me feel danger. A vicious alien is about to enter your tank. Defeat it with your laser weapon by clicking on it. <laughs> it's like I said, okay? It's the early 2000s. You harvest your fish coins, laser rifle in hand. So if an alien gives you trouble, you just give it the Will Smith treatment. Also, I can't feed my fish while the alien is here, so I gotta make sure that I actually give you guys enough to survive and then keep, no, 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 stay, stay away. Stay away from the big fish. Got him. I got him. Okay, D don't worry about it, Stinky, I got it. And now I can upgrade my food quality so I can give you guys pellets instead of little tiny drops. You know what, Stinky, you got that one. I appreciate the fact that Stinky wants to contribute to tank society, but at the same time, like, why a snail? Why get the slowest possible creature to do the job? <laughs> Maybe I could buy him like wheels later or something like that. I, I need more fish. That's my issue right now. You guys should grow quite a bit faster from this food. Does this food cost more? Actually don't, no, it costs the same. Okay, it, it's just more efficient. Ooh, 
unintended pun. I love it. Oh, okay. We got another alien incoming. Everybody eat. Eat up, folks. Eat up, folks. Here you go. Lots of pellets around. Nobody's gonna starve. Stay away. Yes, yes, Stinky. You hide. Way to go, Stinky. Okay, now I can appreciate a snail. You know, if he's got his own self-defense, I wouldn't want to lose him. I'd be real upset. Um, why don't we get a piece of egg? Can we get another piece of egg? We're pretty close to finishing off the level. There's really no reason to just dawdle about, even though I could upgrade... No, can't upgrade my food yet. Hold on. Now I can upgrade my food to the max, where I'm dropping... Steroids? Pills? Yeah, you know what? There's really no morality when it comes to farming fish coin. <laughs> Sounds like a really, really bad new currency. Yeah, you got Bitcoin and fish coin. The difference is Bitcoin doesn't come out of a fish's arse. We are good. There we go. You have found... Nico the Oyster. Nico produces pearls that you can click on for a hefty sum of money. The fish can crap out bronze and silver and gold coins and diamonds, but it's a very scientifically accurate game. No pearls. Fortunately for us, that's where Nico comes in. All right, Nico, you just hang out over there and do your typical angry clam thing. Clam? Oyster? I've already forgotten. <laughs> it's probably why it looks so damn pissed. It doesn't matter, okay? All that matters is that you present the pearl to me whenever you're ready. Maybe pearl making is just harder work than you'd think. Do I need to feed you, I wonder? I don't think so, no. I, I figured I don't need to feed Stinky, right? He eats literal crap, right? He eats coins. Do I need to let him get a coin or two? You can have that one, Stinky. I don't want you going anywhere. Hey, thanks, Nico. I knew you'd come around eventually. <laughs> I don't know how much that was worth, though. Apparently a hefty sum, which I am then going to invest into more guppies, right? You gotta spend money to make guppies to make more money. I, I don't suppose either of you two have any idea how much that was worth? No? Uh, it it's fine, okay? You know what? You guys are doing a great job. Just keep doing your thing. I'll be the one responsible for the finances and feeding the fish. No fish will die on my watch. I can't even say that with a straight face. Something awful is gonna happen to one of you. Speaking of something terrible, I get the feeling that something's coming right now. No, 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 no. You stay away, okay? If something bad is gonna happen to these fish, it's gonna be my fault. Or my design, maybe. We can spend a thousand on a piranha. And as you might imagine, piranhas are uh, a little different than these fish. <laughs> because they don't eat fish food. Fish are food, right? And I don't think they crap out coins, they crap out diamonds, which are worth a whole lot more. So it might be a worthy investment, we just gotta be real careful with them. And hopefully buy them some guppies. Okay, one down, yup, it's definitely not changed its ways. Not a vegetarian piranha, that's for sure. Can I upgrade my food? Everybody's starving to death up here. There we go, that's the good stuff. These diamonds are insane though, they're worth so much money. Well worth the sacrifice of a couple little guppies. This is that point in the game where things start to get real intense. I don't suppose Mr. Piranha would like to help defend the tank. That that would be wonderful if you would just go take a bite out of this alien. No, okay, don't worry, the laser gun will take care of it. I guess I'm asking a little much from a stupid fish to defend versus some kind of intergalactic teleportation alien. I'm doing real well though. We were just gonna keep the guppies up. It's gonna be fine. I could get more piranhas. Or I could just, no, I, I'm gonna get a piece of egg, right? We can just kind of coast from here, I think. I don't really wanna risk just having my tank emptied out by piranhas because then I can't earn the money to feed them and it's this weird everybody goes hungry loop. Stinky, you're really earning your money's worth out here today, guy. Holy crap, it is raining coins. I can't keep up with all of them. It's gonna keep raining down the food on top of the fish. The coins will keep coming out the other end. No, no, no. Guys, guys, we're so close. We're so close. Just, just gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Screw the aliens. I don't care. We're moving on. We unlocked Itchy the Swordfish. Itchy helps you by attacking aliens when they appear. I knew there was a fish that would help with that. I just wasn't sure which one. It'd be nice if the piranhas could help out a little bit, but now we have the laser gun and the swordfish versus the intergalactic teleportation aliens. Don't worry about it, okay? Our fish tank will be safe. 
I'm not sure how many of these unique characters we can bring with us to the tank every time. It's not unlimited. It's like there's like 30 or 40 in the game and you might be able to take four, possibly three. So when we unlock another one here, we're gonna have to make some tough decisions. Somebody's gonna have to let go. It's nothing personal guys, okay? You're all doing a great job. It's just there's well, plenty of fish in the sea. That saying has a whole lot more meanings to it than I would expect. Once it gets borderline impossible to keep track of who you have and haven't fed, you just gotta kinda drop it down in the middle of the tank and see who moves for it. Like if I drop it down and it's ignored by everybody, then I don't need to worry about it, but if somebody does make a move, then I gotta drop on top of them. Okay, itchy battle stations, here we go. You're gonna prove your worth here. I'm gonna try to feed everybody I can, and then attack, oh, it's a big one, it's a big one. Get him, get him, itchy. It's some kind of strange lionfish thing, and it's dead. I'm gonna assume that Itchy did a very good job there, even though it kind of just looked like he was humping it a little bit. I'm curious if there's a maximum number of guppies you can have in a tank. Like, what if I just... No, okay, I guess not. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> I just assumed it'd be like, yeah, you can have like a dozen and then no more. But uh, I kind of just doomed all. Oh, I think I just, I'm hearing fish die. You hear that weird little laugh every now and then? I think that's hungry fish starving to death. Oh, they're sinking to the bottom of the tank. No. I said that I wouldn't let anybody starve. Okay, I can drop seven pieces of food at a time. There's no reason for you guys to go hungry now. We got this. Even though you're costing me more than I'm making, this is not working properly. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should just call the tank a little bit and rather than letting them die, we could just buy a couple of you guys. <laughs> it's for the best. Okay, everybody, everybody eat up. Everybody in the middle. There we go. A whole lot of pills to pass around. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Okay. I'm not that sketchy friend of yours whose cousin sells pills out of the back of his truck. I'm your owner. I am totally legit. I can't keep up with this. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We need more carnivores. Just get all the carnivores. Did I just hear? Okay, let's go, Itchy. Come on now. Yeah, show him your angry face. I just realized he does that. He puts on a little tiny cute angry face and kind of stabs. Okay, things are starting to ease up a little bit, right? We got the whole... There's, there's way too much happening. I need a faster collector. Okay, Stinky, I'm sorry, but you're just not cutting it. What's going on with my piranhas? Why are my piranhas yellow? Just, just eat some fish. There's so many fish for you to. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. They, they might only. They only eat guppies. Oh, and all my fish are too big and fat. That's good to know. I should have known that. I should have assumed that a piranha can't eat a fish that's the same size as it. Okay, we'll live and learn. We'll just make a whole bunch of $100 babies and you crap out diamonds that are worth more than that. So it's still net gain. And we're moving on from that absolute cluster tank to get Prego the Mama Fish. Prego helps populate your tank by giving birth to a new baby guppy every so often. Not gonna lie, Prego, I, I really do like you, but you may have just secured the other three of their position. If I can only take three, like, I would much rather have collecting money and defense than a random whore fish swimming around just pumping out babies. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. Yep, you can only take three pets with you. Well then, and this is how many pets there are. So, a uh, whole bunch. On second thought, I'm willing to bet that the piranhas are gonna absolutely love Prego. She just keeps pumping out food for them. <laughs> so we'll take you, we'll take Itchy, we'll take Nico. Stinky, I'm sorry, okay? You're the OG friend, but you're just too damn slow. If I could do your job with my mouse, then you just can't have a position. Ooh, Prego's looking extra thick all of a sudden. And I think she literally just pooped out a baby. There was uh, there was a poop noise and everything, and now we have three. Okay, then. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Probably shouldn't be bringing new little lives into this world, considering there's a constant threat of alien teleportation attacks, but... I'm looking forward to seeing you try to give birth again under those scenarios. You're really gonna give me another one? That's a definite fart noise, okay? I wasn't joking, she does poop out the babies. I'm still not even 100% sure what increased food quality does. 
Like, it, it might make them grow faster or be fed for longer. Okay, Prego, don't panic. Everything is gonna be fine. What? Two, two aliens are gonna come out and me and Itchy are gonna tag team them like champs. Way to go, Itchy, that was wicked. You cornered one of them and let me corner the other one. That was so strategic. <laughs> this is why I kept you over stinky. Oh, 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 okay, piranhas are getting hungry. And if we can get a piece of egg. Yeah, no pregnant mamas are gonna get eaten today. Just the babies. What if I just make it so that this is a real dangerous area? Maybe then the stupid aliens won't come around, right? I, there's no telling. They might not realize the piranhas aren't like the movies. They can't strip a cow in five seconds. They just <laughs> eat a bunch of stupid little guppy goldfish. <laughs> Who knows? We'll try our best. These diamonds are worth so much freaking money though. And it's getting harder and harder to keep track of everything. Okay, no, I, I'm losing so much money. Stinky, I miss you! Oh god, no. No. Okay, Itchy, you got that one? I got this one. Don't worry about it. I got hit. Oh, he's just he's wiping out the tank! No! Damn it, he killed so many! Ah, crap. Okay, it, it's fine. You know what? We have so much money. It's not that big of a deal. It's just really disappointing because I made the early promise that no one would die on my watch. And then I made a cannibal tank and I'm starting to see that I kind of contradicted myself just a little bit. Don't worry guys, I'm just dropping you down to your deaths. <laughs> Please give me enough so that I could buy an egg and leave this torture, come on. Uh, there's gotta be enough, there we go. Oh. <sighs> Please unlock me something useful. I could really use the help. We got Zorf the Seahorse. I don't remember this one. Zorf gives you a hand in keeping your fish fed. I'm not entirely sure how a seahorse is gonna feed goldfish, but I'm curious. I would like to find out. So, bonus round, collect as many shells as you can. Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, oh, uh, okay, can, do, do I, how do I? Oh, I gotta click on them. Okay, I thought I was supposed to drag the bucket. Okay, okay, yeah, we, I'm, I'm good at collecting. <laughs> Stinky taught me everything he knew. So I just gotta be careful and go for the high value ones. I don't remember what was high value and what wasn't. Was that good? 712. Buy bonus pet number one for 20,000 shells. Oh, so there's like secret, secret pets that you can only get to buy bonus games. Interesting. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Insane Aquarium, guys. I've been playing for like an hour and a half. I just gotta cut it off at some point. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. I gotta say, I love these games that came from a time before there were microtransactions and DLC and random gotcha events. Like if you were gonna unlock something, it's because you earned it in the game. And that's what I just, I love the simplicity of it. So if you guys wanna see more, I would love to make this into a series. Be sure to like on this video, leave some support, leave a comment, that kind of stuff, and maybe I'll return for more. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.